Hello students, I am SP Basavraj. This presentation for you is a limited demonstration regarding the experiment determination of Fermi energy. This is simply to help you having a better preparation prior to your practical examination. You have already done this experiment in your regular class. Now I am providing here just a quick glance of the experimental unit and of basically the connections you make in it. This is the experimental unit and a part of the setup to determine the Fermi energy of copper. And this is a coil made by winding a copper wire of known length and radius on a cylindrical non-conducting support. Its two ends are connected to two wires, each one having a banana pin for connection. This is a digital thermometer. Along with it is a probe. The thermometer measures the temperature at which the probe is. It is possible that in your experiment you would have used a mercury thermometer instead of the digital one. Then you will have to accordingly follow my explanation here. This is a large test tube fitted with a rubber carp with two holes. You see here the wire connected to the coil already passes through one of the holes. After plugging the cork into the test tube, you will have to insert the probe into the vacant hole. Being tightly covered by the cork, the temperature will be uniform everywhere inside the tube. Being a good conductor, the copper coil quickly attains the same temperature as that of its surroundings inside the tube. Now the probe senses the temperature of the interior of the test tube and hence that of the coil. This is an electrical kettle to boil water. Pour enough water into the kettle and switch on the heater to bring the water to boiling so that the hot water will be ready for use when you start the experiment. In the examination, once you come to know this is the experiment you will be doing, the first thing you must do is this. This is a beaker to provide a hot water bath to the test tube. Now take a look at the unit. On the chassis at its top to the left is this milliameter. To the right side, this is the voltmeter. Down on the chassis to the left, between these two terminals, a constant current source is connected inside. The direction of current flow is like that. The upper circuit line is positive and the lower one is negative. This is about the unit. Let's see what are the circuit connections and the other arrangements required to have the setup. There are four connections to be made. Number one, connect the current source to the circuit. Number two, connect the positive terminal of the milliameter to the positive point on the circuit line and the negative terminal to the negative point. Number three, similarly connect the positive terminal of the millivoltmeter to the positive point on the circuit line and the negative terminal to the negative point. Now, Pour hot water into the beaker. Clamp the test tube to a stand so that most of the tube is held immersed in hot water. After some time, the thermometer shows a temperature beyond 80 degrees, which will be the temperature of the coil itself. In a digital thermometer, there will be a provision to read the temperature both in the Celsius and in the Fahrenheit scales. By pressing the appropriate button in the panel, choose to read in the Celsius scale. Now the fourth connection. One of the banana pins from the coil is connected to one of these two points in the circuit and the other one to the other point. That's all the connections. After the connections, the setup looks like this. Now wait till the temperature comes to 80 degrees Celsius. Then along with the temperature, start noting down the readings of the milliameter and of the millivoltmeter at 5 degrees intervals in the tabular column as the coil cools down inside the tube. After noting the first reading or a couple of readings in the tabular column, get the approval of the examiner. Continue till the temperature comes down to 45 degrees Celsius. As preparation for the examination, Practice drawing the circuit diagram and tabular column. Memorize the formula. Also, plot the graph by taking the values from your practical record. Further, find out Fermi energy by substituting the values into the formula. That's about your preparation. Remember, listen to the instruction given by the examiner carefully at the start of the examination and follow the same. That's all, students. I hope 
This video helped you a bit in your preparation for the practical examination. Thanks for watching.